good. So far, uh, sorry, excuse wrong me, <laughs> there's, somebody at the, there's somebody at the microwave. <laughs> Mom, we've got to cut the cord soon. It's going on far too long. Yes, said Jill. The dizzy spell. I would like a dizzy spell too. So he hit her across the head of a lump of lead pipe. <laughs> Whoever's got one, go ahead. A bookie. No, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you are, but I just like watching you do it. <laughs> you... <coughs> this afternoon, a school full of but... <laughs> bus full of school children, a bus full of school children careened off the road. <laughs> 37 children were... <laughs> I've come to complain about these contact lenses. <laughs> it's rather skittish out there in the field. Um, why am I still on camera, you ask? I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello there everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Serenity Solo on the action. Here we are again with whose line is it anyway? The last one was actually episode 8 or 7. 8. Episode 8. And I made it episode 1 for the pilot. So it'll be like one episode in front of the actual televised order. I hope that doesn't put you off too much. I did not care much for the last one if I'm honest with you but it was the pilot the, he did admit he was nervous throughout so hopefully he's got nerves of steel in this one and he's managing to do okay and I'm really hoping the gags get better because in the last one it's like they got told to do something and then some of them were well, even gags nearly <laughs> had no laugh at the end whatsoever so I'm not going to do the YouTube and Daily Motion things because I don't know what this is going to get on yet. So Patreon members, it is you that has been the content to me to allow me to bring the content straight back to you. Thank you all ever so much. I love you lots no matter what tier you are. So with that, let's see if this one's any better. I was trying to sneak in a drink before it actually started. I failed. <laughs> So this is the actual first episode of the show. What probably was televised. The different set. Hello and uh, welcome to Whose Line oh, Is It Anyway? Which is an improvisation programme, as you'll discover if you don't improvise yourself too quickly with the off knob on your television Please set. Don't. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be giving the contestants here a variety of things to do to get them to uh, think on the spot, to perform off the cuff, or otherwise go completely around the bend. And to make sure it's nice and spontaneous, or at least scruffy, I'll be involving the studio audience here. We'll be yelling out suggestions and ideas See, could be for the, the contestants audience. to play. The, uh, the uh, audience themselves have been specially selected for their good looks, their intelligence, <laughs> and their susceptibility to flattery. <laughs> now, the, the contestants... Um, now, the first contestant comes from America. America has given us some great performers over the years. I'm thinking of Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Champion the Wonder Horse, but tonight, tonight it's given us Archie Hahn. I don't know um, who he is. Oh, yes. You, you may... You, you may have seen Archie in Spinal Tap or even Mork and Mindy, the Sunshine Boys. Uh, less likely you'd have seen him in Fatal Attraction because he wasn't in it. <laughs> uh, next we have Josie Lawrence, uh, who... Oh. I like her. Uh, she'll need uh, no introduction to anybody who's met her before. Well, no. She'll include people who've seen her in the Comedy Store Players, the famous troupe of improvisers, who have also lent us our next contestant, who is Paul Merton. He's some. I know who Paul Merton is. He's sometimes an improviser, sometimes a stand up comedian, but always a dead misery. And <laughs> finally, we have. Finally, we have uh, John Sessions. What can I say about it? What can I say about John? Actor, academic, and regular all-round nice guy. Well, those are just a few of his ambitions, but... <laughs> as you know, those are the contestants. Let's get on with the game. Uh, the first game is a simple one called... Not authors, authors again. So if I could ask uh, the contestants to come down you into the last performing one. position. The same games. <laughs> That's it. Yes, you look very good there. Um, now, as I say, it's a simple game, uh, Authors in which uh, each of the contestants has come along with the name of an author in mind. And in a moment, I'm going to get the, uh, the title of a story uh, from somebody in the studio audience. And I'll start off with Archie, and he'll begin to tell that story in the style of his author. And then when I buzz, we'll go on to Josie, well, and she'll continue the story, Rebel. but in the style of her author, and so on round the contestants until the story is told. 
or until it's time for the next game. So the first thing I'll do is I'll find out uh, which Why author you've like come along with. Why do you not like who, who is your author? Uh, Stephen King. Stephen King. Let's get off a nice, frightening start. Uh, Josie? Uh, Louisa M. Alcott. What's going on for the feedback? Little women, little men and little wives. Yes. Yes, and, and little else. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> Paul? Um, <laughs> the person who writes the Janet and John books. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what did they write? Uh, they wrote, um, Little Men. Uh, yeah. <laughs> little, little characters. And, uh, John, who have you gone along with? Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Huh. Right, <laughs> um, okay, well, a title for a story. Can we it have something, you know, <laughs> like, uh, The Day They Invented Champagne? By that. Who's Afraid of Virginia Wade? Something like that. Just any, just a title for a story. Anybody will do. Through the Garden Gate. Through the Garden Gate. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Now, um, <laughs> we'll... we'll Starting off then, Archie, with you, in the style of Stephen King, Through the Garden Gate. Through the Garden Gates, he came, again that summer. Until this point, he'd had no bouts with the dizziness. <laughs> he remembered only vaguely the smell of burning rubber. <laughs> yes, that was all behind him. As he got to the cottage door, he thought to himself... Oh, was that Stephen King? <laughs> ladies are at home. He rang the bell and out gaily tripped Joanne. Joanne said, come in and I'll fix you a meal. As they went into the living room, all the girls were sitting around gaily embroidering different things onto different pieces of material. Hi, they said. Are you still getting those dizzy spells? <laughs> well, we'll have to do something. <laughs> we'll have to do something about that, said Jack. John. <laughs> 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 yes, said Jill. June. <laughs> See the dizzy spell, said John. <laughs> yes, said Jill. The dizzy spell. I would like a dizzy spell too. <laughs> so he hit him across the head of a lump of lead pipe. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Stop it. A piping which no less peremptorily placed itself next to Mr. Nags and Mr. Noggs, indeed Mr. Niggs, who all Daddy. so quickly, in but a moment, brought forth the quill and the lemon peel and scraped it even so as the long lines of the faces, rivulets in the delta even of the uh, physiognomies, looked down upon Mr. Pigs, Mr. Fags, and indeed Mr. Piggywigs, who came up the garden path, through the dizzy spell, across the hills, and into the trees, where they met Ernest Hemingway. See, the problem is, with this in the 80s, it's before the days of political yeah. connectedness, and I get right. worried about where they're going to go. I've had so many shows do that now. That, that, that's very good. I have to award points for these games. So I do I've awarded apologize. ten points each to Josie, Paul, and John. I've been annoyed about it because I think he did mention going through a garden wall at one point, which is <laughs> more than everybody else did. Now the next round is bizarrely called different games for the simple reason that in it they play different games. I don't know why. The first game we get to play is uh, Paul and Archie. Uh, and I'm going to get an everyday activity from some going of the to work. and Paul is going to improvise that everyday activity while Archie will provide the sound effects for that everyday activity. So, has anyone got an everyday activity? Get, hang on, getting dressed. Feeding the cat. Feeding the cat. And having a bath. With the cat and feeding at the same time. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I think let's go with... Uh, yeah, it's getting dressed. That sounds the most everyday of, of, of those, I'd say. So, you, you got that? Sort of getting in the morning, getting dressed, that kind of stuff, Paul? Or shower. The sound effects from Archie, right. <laughs> I think I'll put the radio on. <laughs> <laughs> My 
like thousands. Oh, putting trousers on. Don't get in the bath. <laughs> yeah, be in a bit more pain than that. <laughs> Gone slightly okay. too long. Yeah. Yes, I thought that was, that was very good. I get 40 points to Archie there and 40 to Paul with a bonus of five because he did get one item of clothing on, which is what he was required to do. Uh, now, a slightly different game for Josie and John to play. What we're going to do is to get a household object from the studio audience, and the name of one rather than actually have one given to us. And we'll start off with Josie and she will sing a song, make up a song on the spot about that household object in a musical style, which will also be provided by the studio audience. Then we'll switch to John. He'll sing about the same Legge. object, but in a different musical style as provided by the studio audience again. So first things first, let's have a, 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 an object, an everyday... Sorry? Ajax. 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 We can't advertise. <laughs> Not with me working for Vim. Uh, what was it? <laughs> no, this is supposed to be on court. What was, uh, so who was that other one? Telephone. Guess that bit were caught. A, a loo bowl. Telephone. <laughs> So we're hoping for an English object rather than... No, I'm sorry. No, sorry. It was, tele it was telephone. Yes, I'm sorry. No, all right, all right. We only want one object. A telephone is fine. Yes. So uh, Josie can start singing about that. What sort of musical style could you do? Is it like, like... Flamenco. Hang on. So flamenco. That sounds a good one. No, it doesn't sound a good one. So... <laughs> Sondheim. Is that sort of more of a particular... Sound like Sondheim? Sondheim. Yes, you know what that means. <clears throat> Can't stand it myself, but there you are. On my own in my home. Nowhere to roam. Just me and my telephone. End it with a punchline this time, love. What am I gonna do? When will Harry come and see me and marry me? Harry, marry me. <laughs> Can you hear me sing, Harry? I just want you to ring, Harry. Oh, my telephone. Phone me. Oh, Harry, Mary, can you hear me? I'm a believer, so just pick up your receiver. Mm. Very good. Excellent. You're supposed to end it on a punchline, wow. love. It's a comedy. Oh, that's about the best bit of Sondheim I've heard for a long while. Now, uh, another musical star for John to sing. Reggie, Reggie, that's all right. Yay! I've got my you choice. Can reggae, can't you? Of course you can. Well, turn out, turn out so, the John, still about the telephone. <laughs> oh, still about the telephone. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Reggie. Is that Reggie? Yes. It's like oh, wait, oh, he has it. With a beep, beep, beep. You didn't need to do the accent. I'm going to knock on a telephone and I'm on in with you, baby. I'm into that picking again. With a beep, 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 I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna go on the telephone, but not bloody British telecom, mama, in the morning, mama. Gonna dial, 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 make you smile, 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 in the morning, mama, dee, be, 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 bother, dial, nine, 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 don't want to hear you talk. Yeah, on the block. I got you going to be that bubble down. Why did he say West Indian accent? Round the block, just have to write any lyrics, cos it goes up and down and all over the place. It doesn't matter anyway. Who gives a toss? Wow. Yes, thank you, Rachel. We could have made reggae so much funnier. Let's buy a picture. I did get my choice. Very good one, especially that last one from John, cos it mentioned telephone such a lot, which I particularly like. Now, I think... I think I'll give 25 points to Josie and John on that one. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, next round... <laughs> I'm just getting hysterical. The next round is called it's The World's Worst, which is rather appropriate, I think, for the stage we've got in the evening. <laughs> uh, it's a free-form game, this. 
And what the uh, people have to imagine now, what, what's my note I've got them to do? Oh, yes. The idea is that uh, ITN are looking for a new newscaster or a new newsreader, and they've got to pretend to be the worst people auditioning for that task. So uh, if you'd like to come forward and stand on that little step and just step forward as you think of them, and I'll just buzz when I've had enough of you, which is a nice, quick, snappy thing. The more you do, the more points you get, the quicker we get going. So as, whoever's got one, go ahead. A bookie. No. Hang on. Some of us are getting a little carried away in the audience now. It, every other round requires you to yell things out and you haven't said a word. And now just at the moment when we were building up to something very special, I think, from Archie, weren't we? Because the Americans take this sort of long time, long draw to get going and... Oh, Archie, you've got one. Uh, yes, I'm uh, here to, in uh, to interview for the uh, role of the newscaster. Is it, am I in the right, uh, excuse me. Und nun, die Nachtrichter, Engländer, Tschechoslovakia, Sturm und Drang. Don't do that. This afternoon, a school full, school bus, school bus. <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon, a school full of but <laughs> bus full of school children, a bus full of school children careened off the road. <laughs> Thirty-seven children were. <laughs> Now give the others a chance, Paul, please. Oh, <laughs> this is con... <laughs> yes, well... Well, okay. uh, welcome back. I decided to give uh, ten points all round for that last uh, game. And the next game is called Props. It's a very simple game. I'm going to give a prop to each of two sets of pairs. Josie Why and Archie, you can so... you be one pair for us? And John and Paul the other. Plum and I'll give an item to you. Um, first of all, Josie and Archie, can you have that item? And you've got to think of as many different ways of using that as possible. Oh, it's one of those shower Go things. Go over there with it. And I'll give this other item to John and Paul. <laughs> it's kind Put of a quick fire around this. We go for one quick use of it from uh, Josie and Archie and then switch over to John and Paul and back again. As many uses as we can get out of it. Won't take too long each time. A lot of points to stake on this round, so I want a lot of effort, please. Um, Josie and Archie, are you ready with your first thing? And go. You're going to stick this where? <laughs> <laughs> Not just kids like gumdrops, adults too. I've come to complain about these contact lenses. <laughs> You're going to stick this where? <laughs> Down, periscope. I believe it's a major contribution to road safety. <laughs> I do think London this would have been a lot funnier. Now, Josie, half an. Take you <laughs> up to the sunrise. <laughs> the baby Jesus saw the sun moving <laughs> through the sky. Through the sky, the baby Jesus saw the sun moving. Do you want some myrrh? I don't want none of your mur. I want frankincense, so we'll go. I've got bath cubes. Tonight, live on television, Archie is going to interview the world's thinnest man. <laughs> oh, hi there, Archie. Uh, hi. <laughs> I move, I stop, I turn, and... I touch. And I catch. Thank you. <laughs> One more each. Mom, we've got to cut the cord soon. This is going to fall too long. Remember, that's what I said in the last one. End, end, end. Thank you. Thank you said two, Thank one you more much. each. Oh, yes, uh, there... Thank you very much. Yes, they were, they were so good. They gave 100 points to everybody. Bloody hell. So good, yeah. <laughs> now, Party Quirks. This is a game which really matches Paul Merton against everybody else. He's going to be playing the host of a party. 
Now, the others are going to be the guests at a party, but they are each going to be allocated a quirk, a strange quirk of behaviour. And we've done this by getting the members of the studio audience to suggest a few quirkish uh, ways of behaving. The best three have been selected and been allocated via these envelopes to the various participants. Now, if they can all, you can all, once you've got your quirk, line up, ready to come in. I've got a different uh, uh, bell for this one. The budget's gone mad on this one. And um, so, Paul, you come down. You're Ding supervising dong. being at a party. And when I ring the bell, you've got two minutes as they come in and uh, to work out who they are. A lot of points going for you on this one, Paul. You could win by using this. It's extraordinary. I realise the gravity of the situation. Yes, yeah. <laughs> You're mad, then. Um, OK, so we'll start with the first guest coming in. Do I get hold I think I heard a knock at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're tall, aren't you? <clears throat> Paul, I'm on a step. Now, would you oh, like silly. me to come in? Would you yes, like do come in, please. You're Are you sure guest. you want me to? Because it's up to you. It's what you want. It's your life. Do you want me to be honest? Yes. Well, come in, come in. <laughs> uh, there's some twiglets there. Um, twiglets, I've now... I've got bits of cheese stuck on a stick. Um, bits of sausage stuck on and the stick. And do you feel happy about this party, Paul? Do you feel happy in yourself? I do feel happy within myself about this party. Good. So far... Oh, sorry, excuse wrong Excuse me. There's somebody, <laughs> at the, there's somebody at the microwave. <laughs> Answer the door. I'll get the door. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, thank you. <laughs> so I've got some over here. I've got some sausages. I don't know. Just kidding. It's Bob, isn't it? <laughs> nice moon, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, come on, that won't be hard to guess. You've come to sell me double glazing, haven't you? <laughs> you're close. You're very close. Have on you that made one, the agony, aunt, over here? Oh, brilliant. So, yeah. There. Oh, I'm actually you going there? Oh, I do. Jesse, you've been guest. Uh, double glazing salesman is so close to this one, but <laughs> there's another one coming in. Is that the way you're going to do it? <laughs> I said, well, I was planning of doing it, yes. <laughs> Those guinea pigs are my pets. <laughs> You see, <laughs> I know what you are, but I just like watching you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you... <coughs> Wait a minute. You better... They say that if you drink this out of a silver chalice, you will never die. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> a wolf man, obviously. A, well, a werewolf, yes, a werewolf. I'll give you that, yes. You just couldn't be asked anymore, I just gave up. <laughs> I think, I think that what you're doing Well, let, let me put it this way. If... Do you want to go upstairs? <laughs> you see, you're avoiding, you're avoiding everything that you could confront. It's not making it easy. Now, if, <laughs> just as a matter of interest, you decided to go and get a drink. Yes, I decided to get a drink, yes. Well, I could... Yes. <laughs> I mean... What's that? <laughs> You don't play ice hockey for a living, do you? You're making... <laughs> you got about 30 seconds to get this. 30 seconds. You won't you're making it. the whole direction <laughs> of what you're doing not part of you, but part of them. And what I want to see is you in there driving that little something. Because now you've got it. <laughs> and just... You're three... a driving instructor. <laughs> 10 seconds. I know I know what you are. Yes? But let's not talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the finest theatre directors we have. That's oh, right. Oh. Oh, How the hell did he guess it? I would have never have guessed well, that. I don't know. Very, very good, Paul. You deserve a full hundred points for getting all those, but I'll give you ten because you teased us so much. <laughs> And I'll give uh, ten each to everybody else. So that's a nice even round there. So just totting up the points there, I see that Archie just wins it then. So well done, Archie Hahn. Congratulations, the, Americans. The, the, the prize for, for winning the contest is to get to read out the credits in a, in a well, way of my choosing. And I'd like you to do it in the way of uh, an American sports commentator. 
Right, before we get to that, I'd just like to thank everybody who's taken part. That's to say Archie Hahn, uh, Josie Lawrence, Paul Merton, John Sessions, and Richard Vrance. And so that's he looks all from happy, me. This is Clive Anderson <laughs> saying good night. Good night. <laughs> you don't have a clue what he's doing. Tell him what to do. That's a pretty nice day today. Uh, Start Clive Anderson, John Sessions, uh, Archie Hunt, Paul Merton. Uh, title music by Philip. Uh, you don't okay, need it all, do you? All right, uh, the game will be starting with uh, floor manager Janet Stewart, who was injured last year from a groin injury. And uh, coming up is production by Roa Vanda. Okay, fine. Uh, production assistant Helen Gartel, who. Uh, all right, fine. <laughs> and uh, wearing number 72, designer Pip Gardner. Director Paul O'Dell will be left guard. Executive producer. Dan oh, boy, fine. Uh, well, we seem to run out of players today. Uh, what with the rain and the snow and the sleet and the ice, it's rather skittish out there in the field. Um, why am I still on camera, you ask? I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sign out. Yeah, so still not fabulous. It was better than the pilot. I'll give it that. More laughs. What I think it is, they're not entirely sure what they're doing with the games yet. I mean, it's not been going on that long. New people, well, some new people from the instead of the pilot that were in the pilot. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's been explained brilliantly <laughs> to them what they have to do. Like him at the end, he didn't know what we were doing with the going to need the credits. He didn't know where they had to go. So yes, I'm hoping. By the end of series one, people are knowing exactly what's going on, what's happening, especially in the start of season two, I hope, because, you know, they're the film role season one, so it will televised, so unless they've been there doing it a while, they might not know. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, if you watched this show when it was on in the 80s and 90s, I think it was, let me know what season it starts getting good. I, I would say, don't spoil anything, but it's an improv show, so... <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, what season does this start getting good? We're getting any really good comedians. I'm not going to know some of them, maybe. I mean, I know Paul Palmer, and I've seen a few Have I Got News For Yous. For you, should I say, not yous. So, yes, I knew Paul Merton. But, yeah, I'm not going to know a lot of people. I'm just hoping some people funny come along, really funny come along. I mean, Josie's got a nice singing voice, but she's not putting punchlines to her songs. So hopefully, yes, I've said it, I'll say it again, hopefully it does get better. I'm not gonna do the like, I'm not gonna do the YouTube and Daily Motion things because I don't know what platform this is gonna get on. But you know what to do if it does. But to my Patreon members, it is you that has been on the content to me to allow me to bring the content straight back to you. I thank you all ever so much for watching. I love you lots so much, I want to hear you are. Thank you so much for your support. So with that, I shall sign out and go to the next one and I hope to see you there. Goodbye. <laughs>